compound interest versus simple interest. Simple interest is when we have a percentage of our original amount paid as interest every year. The formula for simple interest is I equals PRN when R is a decimal or some people teach I equals PRN over 100. Principal times the rate times the number of years. So for example, $5,000 invested for six years at 5% per annum simple interest. We could, if we wanted, do this in a table. At the start of year one, we've got $5,000. We'd better make that a dollar sign above this. The amount of interest we pay would be five per, or it's an investment, so the amount of interest we earn would be 5%, five over 100, of $5,000. We'd use our calculator for that. Five over a hundred times five thousand, two hundred and fifty dollars. And so at the end of the year, I'd have five thousand dollars plus two hundred and fifty dollars. But in simple interest, next year, at the start of the year, there's $5,250 in my account. But I still only earn 5% of the original starting balance, $250. So at the end of the second year, there's $5,500 in my account. At the start of the year, there's $5,500 in my account but I still only earn 5% of my original starting balance. I'm up to 5,750. Now this isn't very fair. I'm only earning $250 a year, even though there's now $6,000 in my account, and before there was only $5,000 in my account. I should be earning more interest because there's more money in my account. So I'm just adding on $250 every year. I didn't need to put dollar signs in here, sorry, because I should have had it up the top. So at the end of six years, I've got $6,500. I started with $5,000. I could have used my simple interest formula to work that out instead, to work out that I earned a total of $1,500 interest. But that's simple interest. We're just earning the same amount of interest, a percentage of my starting amount, every time. Compound interest is different. Compound interest works on a percentage of the current amount that's owed or invested. Now we didn't really need a table for this one because I kept paying this, I kept earning the same amount of interest. But look what happens with compound interest. I'm still investing $5,000 for six years at 5% per annum, but it's compounding annually. At the start of year one, I've got $5,000 in the bank. Over that year, I earn 5%, 5 over 100, times how much is in the bank, and I know that one, it's $250. At the end of the year, I've got 5,000 plus 250. I'll put dollar signs up here so I don't need to keep writing dollars in front of each of these. Now at the start of the year, I've got $5,250 in the bank. In this year, I'm going to earn 5% of this amount. 5 over 100 times 5,250. I'll need to get my calculator out again.
funny little fraction that it gives me. Push the double arrow key to get a dollar amount. This year I earn $262.50 in interest. I earn a little bit more interest compared to last year because I've got a little bit more in the bank. And to work out how much I've got at the end of the year, I've got to add the interest plus what I had at the start of the year. So I've already got my interest in the calculator, push plus what I had at the start of the year, and I work out how much I've got now in the bank at the end of the year. Now my calculator says 5512.5. Remember this is money, so we've got to go to two decimal places. And that's how much is going to sit in the bank at the start of the year. And at the start of year three, this much is in the bank. Over year three, I'm going to earn 5% of this amount, because there's more in the bank now. So, 5 over 100 times 5512.50. I'm going to have to round for this one, $275.63. I earned a little bit more interest again because there's a little bit more money in the bank. Add on how much money was there to start with. I, I've already got this in, so plus So, have a look at the end of three years of simple interest, 5750 at the end of three years of compound interest, $5,788.13. I'm earning a bit more money every year because there's a bit more money in the bank every year. Now we could do this with an Excel spreadsheet, which would make it much easier to do all these calculations. And we could, if we wanted, keep going. I'm going to leave you to fill this one in. You've seen that we show working to find our amount of interest and then add it on to what was there at the start of the year. Compound interest is what most banks, mortgages, credit cards, all of that use. Fortunately, because the table is quite time consuming, there's a formula. The compound interest formula has some very similar things to the simple interest formula. A is the amount owed, invested at the end. So the amount in the bank or the amount that we owe at the end of the loan or investment period. P, the principal, which is the original amount invested or borrowed. R is your interest rate as a percentage. per time period. And we'll talk more about what that means later. N is the number of time periods. And R and N have to match up with time periods. All this is saying is, if I'm calculating an interest rate per annum, we'd be looking at the number of years. But sometimes we need an interest rate per month, I'd be looking at the number of months. And the formula is A equals P times 1 plus R on 100 in brackets to the power of N. 
So we'll look at how that works. Determine the amount after five years when $4,000 is compounded annually at 8% per annum. So R per annum, N number of years, five years. Per annum and years have to match up. It's always a good idea to write A, P, R, N and say what they are. We need to find the amount. Principal, $4,000. Rate, 8% per annum, N, 5 years. Write your formula. A equals P times, in brackets, 1 plus R on 100 to the power of N. Write your formula. Substitute in the values. 4,000 for the principal times 1 plus 8 over 100 close brackets, to the power of 5. Now, you can just enter this into your calculators with the brackets and the fractions as it is. 4,000 times brackets 1 plus fraction 8 over 100, get out of the fraction, close the brackets to the power 5. Check that it looks exactly like that. Enter $5,877.31. This is the total amount of the investment. The simple interest formula only finds the interest. The compound interest formula finds the total amount, the original principal and the interest.